been a while since I picked up the camera. I don't really know why. I've just been in a zone. Um, but I'm fresh off of 34 and I am getting loaded right now in Mississippi and this load as you can tell by the title is gonna have six stops you guys like So I'm gonna bring you guys along with me and we're gonna see What type of BS we get into with this load because I haven't had a multi-stop load with KLLM since I started that was my my first load was a four stop load I think um but yeah this load is six stops so we're gonna see <laughs> what um what goes on today is june 5th it's monday today and let's see i think the final needs to be in indiana the 8th let's see what time um so yeah, going back to Indiana, you guys, I'm kind of bummed that they're not sending me west. I'm honestly just waiting at this point for my dispatcher, like my actual dispatcher, because I still have my temporary one. Um, I'm sorry if my truck's loud, y'all. Let me. Um, but yeah, I still have my temporary dispatcher, and I should be getting my permanent very soon, hopefully this week, um, because I just want to be able to be like, can I just go west and like you know I want to be able to kind of tell them what I want because this is not it but let's see so it needs to be oh my app is messing up you guys and this cannot happen on a load like this it needs to get itself together okay yeah I need to be <laughs> at the final june 8th at six in the morning i don't know how that's supposed to happen because well that's three days well yeah we should be good we should be good but some of these places do take forever to unload so i don't know if we're gonna be able to make it on time but we will see as i said i am in mississippi right now um so yeah i'm just waiting i've been here since last night at two in the morning it is currently 10 in the morning and I'm still getting loaded. So fun, fun, fun. I did go grocery shopping. I did go grocery shopping. So now I have, you guys, stuff is probably everywhere in here. It looks so unorganized, but I have hella stuff in there that you can't really tell. And then I also cleared this one out and put stuff in there. And then I also let me show y'all because I I'm trying to think smarter and not harder lately and I just I know that I haven't been in the mood to cook and honestly last time I went grocery shopping I bought stuff to cook and I never cooked and I wasted a bunch of meat so well not a bunch but like you know meat okay so 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 I got just the usual yogurt some drinks whatever but I got a bunch of burritos, you guys. I can literally eat burritos. I don't know if it's just me. I can eat burritos any time of day, any day. Like, it doesn't even freaking matter. So these are the, these are my favorite ones, y'all. They're El Monterey uh, steak. So I got those. Then I got a uh, cut up watermelon. I got milk for cereal. And then I just got a bunch of pre-made stuff, you guys. And this is gonna be most of what I eat this week. I got potato salad. I got chicken pasta salad. I got, oh my God, y'all. If you don't eat this, you need to try it. This is the best dip ever. I just use it, um, or I eat it with chips. And then I got, what is this one? BLT pasta salad. And I got a salad with a nice piece of um, salmon, which I'm honestly gonna eat for lunch today, but I'm thinking that I am gonna go back. Okay, sorry, the guy knocked on my door and I like panicked. I was like, ah, so um, they're about to give me a green light once they put the seal on, and then I'm gonna be well, actually, no, I can't leave yet because my my um. 10 hour isn't up and I want a full fresh clock because I only have five hours by 11 right now. And I want to drive a full 11 hours, so 
Yeah, y'all. I'm about to go because I don't have my GoPro hooked up and I'm gonna go park and then hitch all up when we're leaving here. Okay, you guys, I'm having truck problems yet again. It never fails, never ever fails. So basically last night, um, I had like randomly some lights come up, like probably six lights, the adaptive cruise, hill assist, um, trailer ABS, uh, assisted brake, like all of those things. So last night when I first got here, I did the kill switch, I cleaned off um, the sensor in the front, I basically did everything I did. I was live too and I had mentioned it and people were telling me, you know, cycle the key this many times, do this, that, and nothing's working. So I did the kill switch again right now, so I'm just waiting to see if it goes off. If it doesn't go off, then I'm going to have to go to Speedco or Speedco or a terminal or something because I am in Mississippi I don't know how far I am from the Jackson terminal but if it does not work when I turn this truck back on I'm gonna call a breakdown and just be like look what do I do because I'm not about to drive all of these stops and all the way to Indiana with no cruise control only able to go 62 miles an hour I just can't do it so yeah you guys I'm hoping I'm hoping that this just makes it like go away but I don't know because I did this last night so I guess we will see so I'm at a rest area. I've been driving for like an hour. I have a pimple patch on my face, you guys, so that's what it is if you guys see it. Um, anyways, I was driving for like an hour. I'm heating up a burrito right now because I'm starving and I'm gonna walk him and then we're gonna get going. Um, I do have three and a half hours left to drive till we get to the second stop. Um, so yeah, they didn't give me times that they didn't give me appointment times for all the stops, which is so weird to me, so I'm just gonna show up when I show up for everything, I guess. The uh, only appointment time that I had was to pick up, so the first stop to pick up, and then the last stop, the eighth at six o'clock. That's the only times that I have. Like, how does that make sense? But, yeah, you guys, I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna walk him, and then I will come back to y'all when I get to the second stop. You guys, I forgot to vlog. I need to get back into the rhythm of things and figure this shit out. But anyways, I low-key wasn't even thinking about picking the camera up because I was so confused, you guys. Tell me why I'm in this tiny ass. Right now I'm backed up like, I don't even know how I turned around in that little ass area, to be honest, with all those trucks there and stuff. And there was another truck right there too as I was turning around. But anyways, I'm in this tiny ass area and nobody told me that the appointment was only until 11 in the morning. So I'm like, I don't know if I should even stay here for the night or what to do. Ugh, I don't know. It is currently, and I'm annoyed too because that means that I'm wasting a whole clock. Like, I, I drove for five hours. Like, what is the point? Why do you give me a multi... Y'all, I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed, but let me simmer down. Uh, yeah, so I'm parked here. I honestly don't know what I'm about to do. I don't know if I should just leave and come back tomorrow because why the hell would I stay in the middle of nowhere? Like, if I would have known that, I would have went to Love's and peed and stuff, which don't get me wrong, I'll pee in a cup now. I'll pee in a cup. It, it, don't, it ain't nothing to pee in a cup, but, um... What the hell? At least I have food. Oh, also, all of my lights came back on. They only went away for like an hour. All of my lights came back on and my truck stalled out. So, there's that. Uh, yeah, that's about it, you guys. I completely forgot to record. I wish that I would have recorded me like a crazy person. Um, I think I already mentioned that this is a pimple patch, but yeah, it's a pimple patch. Anyway, I wish I would have recorded me acting like a crazy, or not acting like a crazy person, but literally I like passed the place because I'm like, ain't no way that's the place. It's like tiny as hell. And the dude came up to my truck and he was like, oh, they were leaving for the night. He's talking about, all right, bye. Bitch, if you don't unload me. Y'all, I'm so irritated, but I guess I'm just gonna go, I don't know. There's a Love's like 30 minutes away, but do I really want to drive 30 minutes away? I think I do, y'all. I don't know. Let me call my dispatch and see what they say. And if I end up going to Love's, I will see y'all there. If I don't go to Love's and I thug it out here for the next 12 hours, <laughs> uh, then I will let you guys know. But best believe best believe they better be paying me extra for wasting a whole clock and waiting. So, like, what type of bullshit is that? Anyways, y'all, like I said, I will let you guys know 
if I go to Love's, I'll see y'all on the way there or when I'm there. And if I don't, I'll see y'all when I'm getting into that little ass dock right there. Tomorrow. Okay, good morning. I'm about to back in. I moved the truck earlier because I was in that way. Um, and yeah, we're gonna back in now.
you guys just watched me getting into the dock, but I... It's early, so it is 6 in the morning currently. I guess my apartment wasn't until 11, and I didn't know that, so... I came on the way out here. Basically, this is the place. Like, it's like, just really small. I'm in the dock right now. Um, but I slept, like, I backed up right there. And then they had woke me up because they said that I thought that they were saying that I was in the way. So I just, like, moved up there on the side. But they were saying to get in the dock. I was just tired and not thinking. So they let me come in the dock early because the first check that was supposed to come is late. So early bird gets the worm I get unloaded first they're unloading me right now they should be done soon because like I said it's a super small place and they aren't having too many pallets they're coming over so now I'm figuring out where I'm going so the next stop you guys I'm not even about to change anything because I can't shower yet so it is what it is um the next stop though is confusing because it's like the same well it's not the same address it's different addresses on the same road in the same city so I don't know if it is the same place or if I literally have to go right up the road and drop which that's stupid but I don't know you guys this load is blowing me I'm so aggravated okay let's see stops so we did that okay see so one of them is PFG Lester 825 Maddox Simpson Parkway and the other one is PFG Lester 401 Maddox Simpson Lebanon Tennessee so like what I don't even know what to do I don't know I'm just gonna type in the first address and then ask them when I'm there because literally dispatch was like oh yeah you might want to check into the address being like different but the name being the same he was like I don't know what like sir you're the one that's supposed to tell me what to do like what do you mean you don't know like not making sense but okay so let me just type in the first one five zero four south oh wait that's Briggs that's where I'm at okay uh, 825 also you guys this trailer is like a piece of shit <laughs> and I've been talking how good their trailers are all the time the doors are like broken the guys had to help me I felt like an idiot so yeah Maddox Simpson Performance Food Group. Okay. So, yeah, it's 203 miles. A lot of people always ask me, like, what. I use for my GPS. I use Trekker Path and this is just an iPad you guys. I paid monthly for it on an AT&T plan. Um, so yeah, I have like data on it so I'm able to like, you know, have my Trekker Path and anything. Um, I watch movies on it and stuff. So, potential violation. Okay, got it. So I am 222 miles away. I'm four hours and nine minutes. Um, so, yeah. I'm about to go do pre-trip and start driving. I'm honestly not in the mood to get the GoPro all set up to do pre-trip during this vlog and all of that. So, I'm just going to get pre-trip done and then come back to y'all. And, yeah. yeah. So, I ended up falling asleep for a little bit because I was so aggravated, y'all. I got to that stop in tennessee that first stop and she was like oh like we don't start unloading until 11 at night so you guys this trip is literally gonna take me the full like hold on i'm trying to put you down while i make noodles this trip is literally gonna take me the full like four or five days just for 800 miles you guys so i'm not gonna make anything this week uh for the first time since i've been here and i'm aggravated and then the dispatcher was like Basically just saying like, oh, well, all we could do is give you a better load next time. Da, 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 da. And I was like, that is not good enough, sir. But yeah, y'all, that is what happened. I'm making noodles right now. Uh, these ones. I haven't tried these ones, so we're going to see. Okay, I need water. Um... 
Yeah, I fell asleep as soon as I got to the pilot. I'm at a pilot right now. Watch out, punk. I'm at a pilot right now. Um, I fell asleep literally as soon as I got here. I don't know. I feel like I didn't sleep good last night either because I was in the middle of nowhere. So... I really don't know how to make this. Um, these noodles are so weird. Tom, back up. But, yeah, you guys, so I have to wait till 11 at... Well, technically... My appointment's at 4 in the morning. But I think that I'm going to go at, like, probably, like, midnight. Because she said that they start, um, they start taking inbound loads at, what'd she say? 11, sorry. So I think I'm going to go at, like, probably, like, I'll probably leave here at, like, 11, 30, 12. Um, and hope for the best. Because I want to be one of the first ones and I don't know if they go by appointment times or what but baby I'm trying to hurry up and then there's that other one that I have to go to right across the street which is annoying too there's lid on bowl loosely for 90 seconds but yeah you guys so I'm just gonna eat some freaking noodles walk eat some noodles go on a walk of palm and then i'll see y'all when i'm um, walking palm and showering and all of that because like i said i'm just about to eat um and i don't know what else to say a lot of people like will comment on my stuff now and be like don't like don't edit out stuff da -da -da -da. but it's like how would i not edit out stuff I don't know what y'all want for me. I don't know what you guys want for me. Oh my god. One thing I hate too. Y'all know already that I hate pilots. But I just don't understand. Okay. Loves does not do the reserved parking. Like loves you park wherever the hell you want to park. Wherever you fit in getting. Pilot be having the nerve to have. A whole back row of reserved parking. Three quarters of these parking spaces are reserved. Par like, y'all are so stingy. Like, let us park. Shit. I know a lot of people still park in the reserved and don't pay. But, like, ugh. I don't like parking nowhere where I might get woken up or where it might be an issue. So, baby, I had to find. I got here early enough, thank God, because it was pretty empty when I got here. But, what I tell you guys? There was so much reserved parking at this one. Like, why you got it reserved all the way in the back row? Who wants to be? Who wants to pay twenty dollars for a park all the way in the back? And you gotta walk damn near half a mile to get inside. Okay, it's currently two in the well, one one something in the morning. My apartment was for four. I didn't really know what time to leave because I didn't know if they were gonna take me early or not. But here we are. So I'm about to leave now. I just got done with pre-trip. And yeah, I'm just about to leave. The pilot over here is like super full. I'm happy that I showered late though because earlier at like eight or nine, I went to go shower and there was like a lineup of people still. And I'm like, normally at around that time, there's nobody waiting in line. And there was like six people in line. So I ended up waiting till like midnight. And yeah, oh my God. I'm so tired and this trailer door is like broken you guys so I'm hoping that there's like a man <laughs> there outside of these hours that can help me because if there's not baby I can't close that door by myself I don't know if the place that loaded this broke the door or what because when I checked this empty both doors were good so I don't I don't know but I just had walked to Palm ah what are you doing why do I, I'm, whenever I put the camera on him, he's always licking his butt or something, like, disgusting. You say hi? I just had brought him out. He pooped. Um, so, yeah, I'm about to leave, and I'll see y'all when I get there. 
door that's broken, you guys. So hopefully I'm able to close it. The, the place that I got this load from, they broke the door because it was not broken prior. But yeah, you guys, that's what the load is looking like. Back in. I did it wrong the first time, but look y'all, I wanted to show you guys. Look at this. That is the distance from my first, er, this is where I'm at right now. This is where I'm going. What type of bullshit is that? Like, ugh, I can't. Oh, I did it wrong again, you guys. I'm gonna have to call a dispatcher because I don't know, I don't remember what the order number is. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. Yeah, let me call them and see because I need this shit done. So I'm just leaving. Hold on. I'm going to put you guys on my hat. I'm just leaving this place that I uh, got unloaded at. So right now I'm going to head down the road to the other place. They don't start unloading until 4 in the morning. Um... Why would that dude park there? He's like right in my way. Not really, but kind of, cause my trailer tandems are damn near all the way back, so. That is so annoying. But yeah, so we're gonna go to, he is such a fucking idiot for that. Now this dude can't even get out. Okay, I'm trying to see what way I have to go. I hate when the GPS is like this, you guys. Like, where, where do I go? Okay, perfect. And listen to me. I might as well wait for those cars. Um, but yes, yeah, so we're gonna go down the road. They don't start unloading until five, and it is 3.48, so I was thinking like, should I just go to the pilot for a little bit or something? But I don't really need anything there because I'm gonna eat um, some cereal and stuff. So I think I'm going to go try and park outside the gate 
knowing how other truck drivers are, the gate is probably going to be full. So let's just hope it's not. My windows are so dirty from Palm. His freaking nose mark. It made me turn the wrong way for a second, you guys. Put my seatbelt on. It is literally half a mile away. Like, what? already but it's literally called the same thing too so I was so confused even the lady up there was like why do they have you going to both I was like I have no clue um... oh life way okay um... okay I think it's in here all these trucks are yeah because like I said they don't start until 5 so I'm guessing all of these people are waiting to get in let me cut my lights off um, I'm just gonna go on the left side that way if anybody comes in I'm not in their way I like knew that it was gonna be like this you guys that's one thing in like this reefer division oh my god these people do not play they will line up anywhere hours before their appointment time too like why are you even here there's so many truck stops right up the road I'm not gonna lie I forgot to film but I got in here it was super easy to get in because um, I was next to like a trailer with no truck so I didn't have to worry about this side but yeah so I'm in the dock when I tell y'all it is I got here at 5 it is 640 and I only just got in the dock when I went in there when I went in there there were so many people in line already you guys and they just took forever um so yeah I'm only just now getting in the dock and it's 6 40. um I also have like no fuel like I said earlier so I'm gonna call dispatch or I'm gonna send in a message right now and just be like hey I need a fuel route that's like here because um it's not gonna be enough but yeah y'all we are in a dock waiting to get unloaded why are you begging I'm about to eat because I still haven't ate and in that long ass line I got super hungry. So yeah. Um I met a lot of three people here that watch me on YouTube. One guy was like, you look super familiar, and I was like, mm, do you watch YouTube? Sure enough. But yeah, I love meeting you guys. It like puts it into perspective for me how big like YouTube really is. But anyway, I'm gonna eat and talk to you guys when I'm leaving here. The next stop is Kentucky. Um, but like I said, I think I'm gonna have to get fuel before I go over there. So I'm gonna message dispatch right now and then figure all of that out. And yeah.
off because I did not make any money off of it. But on a good note, as I was getting into this door, there was a guy like walking and he's one of my supporters and he came and took a picture with me and everything. That's the first time that I had somebody ask to take a picture of me. I was like, oh, I look like shit, but sure. But yeah, so that is gonna be it for this video. Thank y'all for watching. It is gonna be more trekking content. I posted a vlog before this just about Palm because a lot of people do ask about him and it was just like I had already edited it edited it so i just like posted it but a lot of people are like where's the trucky vlogs da, 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 da. they're coming y'all hold on 